Statistics, advanced subsidiary. Wednesday, 22nd May, 2019. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly labeled. You should show sufficient working to make your methods clear. Answers without working may not gain full credit. The total mark for this part of the examination is 30. There are five questions. So it's a statistics, paper 21, advanced subsidiary. Question number one. A sixth form college has 84 students in year 12 and 56 students in year 13. The head teacher selects a stratified sample of 40 students, stratified by year group. Describe how this sample could be taken. And it goes the next part. The head teacher is investigating the relationship between the amount of sleep, S hours, that each student had the night before they took an aptitude test and their performance in the test P marks. So these are some of the ideas we're going to use for this question. A stratif in stratified sampling, the population is divided into mutually exclusive strata, males and females, for example, like we had here, year 12, year 13, and a random sample is taken from each. So that is the one we're going to concentrate on for stratified sampling. So in stratified sampling, the population is divided into mutually exclusive strata, males and females, for example, and a random sample is taken from each. So the proportion of each strata sample should be the same. A simple formula can be used to calculate the number of people we should sample from each stratum. So the number sampled in a stratum is the number in stratum divided by the number in population times the overall sample size. This formula is very important to remember it. That's the formula which you need to memorize. So for the sixth form college, we're going to use that formula. So 84 students in year 12. So we're dealing with year 12 first. So there, that's year 12 and there's 84 students in year 12. Divided by the number in the population the total number is 84 students in year 12 plus 56 students so 84 in year 12 plus 56 in year 13 it gives us a total of 140. overall sample size is 40. So overall sample size is 40. so it's 84 divided by 140 times 40 that means 24 year 12 students we're going to select Let's go to year 13. The number in the stratum is 56 divided by overall sample size. Sorry, the total number in the population is 140 and then the sample size is 40. So you put down your calculator, it gives you 16. So we need 16 year 13 students. So he needs to pick 24 year 12 and 16 year 13 students. And what are you going to do next? You would number each student, give each student a number in each year group. Use random number generator to pick sample. So this is it written neatly down here. Level each year group, use random numbers to select, and then simple random sample of 24 year 12s and 16 year 13s. That's how you do question number one, A. So for the sample of 40 students, he finds the equation of the regression line of P on S to be P is equal to 26.1 plus 5.60 S. With reference to this equation, describe the effect that an extra 0 0.5 hours of sleep may have on average on a student's performance in the aptitude test. So if you increase another, the, the amount of sleep by 30 minutes, would the students do better? How the students would perform in the aptitude test? So we look at the gradient. If we write P is equal to 26.1 plus 5.60 S, we can arrange it to look like Y equals to MX plus C. 
So your M is 5.60 and your C is 26.1. So an extra 0.5 hours has to do with time and that would affect what is in the S because S is the time. So it will be 5.60 times 0.5. That will give you 2.8. So it would increase by 2.8 marks if you increase the time by 0.5. So using the gradient of the regression equation increase by approximately three marks. 2.8 is approximately three. So question 1C, describe one limitation of this regression model. What it means is that the best performance is predicted for the students who never wake up. That means if you keep sleeping, your results will keep going up, but that means you won't even do the test. The idea that the longer you sleep, the better the performance in the test. Or only valid between zero and 24 hours within range of the data. So these are different reasons you can give. Like the model might not be linear over the entire range. And you cannot score below 26.1 marks on the test. So these are different reasons you can choose one of them. And if you were to plot that on the graph, 5.6 plus 26.1, that's what the graph will look like. And we have to ignore the negative side. We start from zero. So if you didn't get any sleep, you will get 26.1. That will be where you start the intercept. And it keeps, so at time zero, 26.1. And you use that scale so it, it, the graph shows you some more information. <laughs>